Hello and welcome. This is Christian from Vision 6D. We are going to look how to add headers and footers when we print documents out of our Gantt chart, for example. To do that, I will go here to the back office and I will select print. And as you see here, we are going to print document as it is here. Um, I will first now go to the page setup to prepare the, the footer so that we, we have more space. Here down is what we call the legend. So I'm going to remove the legend. Saying here no one and I say just OK to let you see what happens. We will now add a footer to this document. So for this I go to page setup. And you see here you have header and footer. So I selected footer. And as the first thing that I want to do, it's maybe here to add a page number. For this, you see I have the page number. Maybe before I would like to add the text page. Like that we can look how this will look like. And we see here down in the middle, we have the page number with the name page that appears. Let's improve this. So we saw that this is here in the middle. I'm going to move it to the right. And we have it now here down to the right. I would like also to have on this footer, maybe here in the middle, a date and the time like that I know when the document was created so let's say okay to that and as you see we have the date and the time you might also want to add the file name and pass so as you see here you can get the file name but what I want is the file name and the pass in order to locate the file more easily. For this, I have to go here in the list. So you see that you have plenty of information and fields that you could add. And here is the file name and pass. So I will add it now to the left side. I add it. And from the center, I will remove that one, date and time. I will say OK. And we see that I have here down now the file name and the pass to access the file. And if I want to add the date, uh, there is maybe a space here that I could use. I will go just here in front. And I will add the date. space and say OK. And you see that here at the front I have the date, the page number and the location of the file. So this is what I wanted for the footer. So let's now head for the header. I will go now here into the header and in the header I would like to insert on the, the left the project name. So I will select here again in the list. You see the project title. I will say OK now and we'll see what happens. And we see that nothing happened on the top where the header is. There is one thing I need to do. It's to tell you from where this information is coming. In order to do that, we will need to go into the info field of the back office. As you see, we have here project information like start date, finish date and some other elements. I will click here on project and you see that we can get to advanced properties. I will open those properties and you see here that the document title is defined here. And you see below uh, the author, the manager and the company. So I will add here the manager. I will put in my name, Christian Alt. 
and accompany this vision 6D. I will already bring a change to the title. I will just remove here at the end the extension that was taken from the file name. So with that done, I've given here information to MS Project. I can now go back to the print and we can look at the page setup where the header was defined and here on top I will add now the project name the project title so I will add it let's say I add it to the left so I've added the project title to the left I can say OK and we see here up that the project title has been added. So what about now the project manager? I go back to the page setup. I will maybe add it also following this. So I continue here on the left. We see project title. I give one space. I will go here down and select the generation of the project manager name. So I said here, I add it, and you see that Christian Alt has come here up. So we check it, and we see here that we have the name of the project manager. Maybe it would be better to have it in the middle. So for that, I come here back select the header the left I will remove the project manager I will put the project manager in the center so for that I will now select the manager name and add it so I say OK and you see we have the title of the project the name of the project manager so let's now see whether we could add some other also interesting information and I'm still in the header and in the header in the right maybe I can get some information from the project fields and here you see that all the fields we, we have are here present so maybe for me what is interesting is to uh, have on top the number of working hours in this uh, project so as you saw, I've put it here in the right of the header and I will click here on add and I will put a legend in front work two point space and we now look at how it is coming out and we see we have here the work with the total number of hours that will be worked in this project to summarize we've added here down the footer with the file name and the path to get to the file, a date and a page on top where is the header, we've added the title of the project, we've added the name of the project manager, this had to be coming from the information about the project and I've added a specific field from MS Project which is the total number of work hour in this project. So far so good. It's your time now to play with the headers and footers. We've learned here different aspects. You liked the tutorial so you can sum up, you can subscribe to my channel and hope to see you soon. Bye!